Hello, my name is John Snyder with Anderson Engineering. I'm going to continue with the field classification of the visual manual methods and we're going to prepare another sample. This time it's for the wet shaking test or what we call the latency test. It's the ability to measure how water comes out of the sample. So again, we get the soil, we prepare it, we pass it through the number 40 sieve. We took out all the gravel, big pieces, the sand size, and we basically let in anything that was sugar size or number 40 sieve, salt size, or smaller, we let pass through. So we got the sample and we added water to it and got it to mix a little bit more than damp, but not wet and not moist. Moist, it would be wet in our hands. We could be able to see it. Damp, we can feel it. We're somewhere in between. So it does leave a little bit of moisture. So we'll take a sample about the golf ball size. Grant Thomas will do the other one. So we're just gonna mix it. And just so it's a thorough mixture. And then we'll just make a little meatball, a little round golf ball shape. And then we'll set that aside and demonstrate the test later. You got your screen? Yep. Very good. Thank you. Good morning. My name is John Snyder with Anderson Engineering. It's day two, and we're going to continue our field classification test. This is the second test. Uh, this is called the latency test. It's very useful for telling uh, uh, if we have silty materials. It, we're going to take a, we took the golf ball size. We got it uh, moist. And we're just going to add a little bit more water just so uh, we can shake the water out. So I added a little bit more, and now I'm just going to mix it up. It's just a little bit past moist. So we make a small pad. Might take this into two pieces. So there's no moisture on the surface, and I'm going to strike my hand. And when I strike it, you can see this surface right here is called livery surface. So you can see a slight sheen because we got water on it. I'm going to go ahead and do it again. And I'm just going to mix in the rest of the sample. So we're going to go ahead and make it big enough that uh, it can kind of stay more secure in my hand. You can see right there, no moisture. I strike it on the side and we can see we have water came out. And that's kind of, it looks like a liver. So we call it livery surface or livery appearance, and when I remold it again, we lose the moisture. So because that had a reaction and that, that water came out, we know that's a silt. So now we're gonna do the same test on the sample we thought was a lean clay. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more water. This is moist, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more just to, so I know water can come out. It's a little bit wet, so I'll just uh, dry my hands. make it into the pad so we got a pad right here and because it's a clay clay should be able to hold on to water more and not be able to come out so you can see here there is no reaction no water so we know that's a, a lean clay now here this one's a fat clay uh, you can see just by squeezing it it's it was moist but it is hard Put a little bit of water in it. Just to prove, and one thing with fat clays, we'll cover that in the rolling test, but they are very tough to even at the same moisture. So here we got, and no reaction, no water coming out. So that concludes our the latency test or wet shaking test. We had no water come out, so we know that we had the Silt, where we had a reaction, and the lean clay and the fat clay, we had no reaction. Thank you.